There's no stopping the spread when encouragement is what's contagious. Hi, I'm Keith Stevens. Welcome to Keep the Faith. And I'm Donna Cruz. Why? It's a question with just three little letters, but it's so big, especially when it's about more than why things happen and instead about why you happened. Yep, I'm talking about purpose, something we all long to understand. When you do, the sky is the limit. All the songs and stories in this hour of Keep the Faith today have been chosen to help you discover your why and make a comeback filled with renewed passion. Sometimes we can overthink what our gifts are. There there might be something that you love to do, but maybe you're not that good at. Like, for instance, I I love sports. Uh, I love to play baseball. But I'm just, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't be good enough to play professionally. And so that was not something that I really pursued. Who am I that the Lord of all the earth would care to know my name, would care to feel my hurt? Mid 20s, you know, was doing, you know, work that was really fulfilling and traveling all over the world. And we started to have kids. And the trajectory, the American dream puts you on tends to be one of more and more hustle, more and more busyness. And we were on the beginning of that trajectory when it started to really show itself. And so, man, I kind of had to realize, man, I think that the way of Jesus is very different to this. I use a question that I've used for years around discovering your purpose, and it's really simple. It's how is someone's life better when they cross paths with you? I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath, scared to rock the boat and make a mess. So I said quietly, agreed politely. I guess that I forgot I had a choice. I let you push me past the breaking point. I stood for nothing, so I fell for everything. It really is one sentence. I mean, you might be the person that educates, you might be the bridge builder, you might be the one who connects people, and it probably comes pretty easily to you, so much so that you might even take it for granted because it's a gift. The journey to discovering your why begins as a stand-up comedian. Now, don't worry. You don't have to get up on stage or even be funny. The story is next on Keep the Faith. They say you're the king of everything. The one who taught the wind to sing. The source of the rhythm I heart.
songs and stories just for you, filled with hope and encouragement and purpose. You're listening to Keep the Faith. I've been running in circles, jumping the hurdles, getting caught in that rush of doing so much. I'm feeling kind of worn out, all this checking the boxes, trying to be flawless. Has me spinning my head, catching my breath Too afraid to slow down I tell myself to keep this up That God wants more than just my love But I've been complicating things It's just like me to overthink Gotta keep it real simple, keep it real simple to keep the faith. I'm Donna Cruz. All of us need a purpose, something bigger to live for. So what does that mean to live with God's purpose in mind? Before I became a Christian, I used to, I would ask a girl out and this one girl, I remember she said to me, she said, I'm dating Jesus. I didn't know what that meant. Now I realize she was just saying she wanted to get closer to God before she started dating. Back then I had no idea. I thought she was dating Jesus. A month later, she called me up and said, you still want to go out? I'm like, did you break up with Jesus? I'm like, I don't know for sure, but I think it was your fault. Whatever happened, it was your Now you coming to me? You are confused. You better go back. I'm telling you, he forgives you for everything and you get free wine? You better call him. You better go call him. Michael Jr. has made millions of people laugh in his career in stand-up and in movies like Selfie Dad, available now on demand. He says finding life's purpose is a lot like comedy. First there's a setup and then there's a punchline. Your setup is really your talents, your resources, and your opportunities. If you use those talents, resources, and opportunities just to get things for yourself, you'll continue to be stuck in your setup. But if you flip it and decide to use your talents, resources, and opportunities for other people, that's when you deliver a punchline. And that's when you start to understand that you really have a purpose in, on this earth. So it's set up in a punchline. Everyone has a purpose. Everyone has something to do. But our instinct is to try to do for ourselves 
which is what most people are expecting. But when you flip it and do for other people, that's when you get that punchline or that sense of fulfillment or that understanding that because you've solved something, that's what it was in front of you. I don't know where to go from here. It all used to seem so clear. I'm finding I can't do this on my own. I don't know where to go from here. As long as I know that you are near, I'm done fighting. I'm finally letting go. I will trust in you. You've never failed before. I will trust in you. If there's a road I should walk, help me find it. If I need to be still, give me peace for the moment. Whatever your will, whatever your will, can you help me find it? Can you help me find it? It says, delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. For the longest time, I guess I read that verse as, delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you what you want. God kind of one day, as I was reading that over and over, kind of let that word give pop off the page at me. And I realized that in my life, what He was saying is, delight yourself in me, and I will show you what your desires are to be. That's how people can pick up their whole lives and move to Africa, you know, because he puts that desire in them. And it's because he's doing that work. And it says, commit your way. Say yes, basically. Commit your way to him, and he will do this. He will make your righteousness shine. The justice of your cause, he'll make it shine like the new day sun. You can listen to this hour of Keep the Faith over and over and share it with a friend as well. You'll find it on KeepTheFaith.com's YouTube channel. One woman took a journey from simply knowing she had a purpose to finding out what it was to actually doing something about it. Her story is next on Keep the Faith. I woke up this morning 
It's all world full of trouble now. I thought, how do we ever get so far down? And how's it ever gonna turn around? So I turned my eyes to heaven. I thought, God, why don't you do something? Well, I just couldn't bear the thought of people living in poverty, children sold into slavery. The thought disgusted me, so I shook my fist at heaven. I said, God, why don't you do something? encouragement to help you discover your purpose and live with passion. This is Keep the Faith. I don't want to hear anymore. Teach me to listen. I don't want to see anymore. Give me a vision that you could move this heart to be set apart. I don't need to recognize the man in the mirror And I don't want to trade your plan for something familiar I can't waste a day, I can't stay the same I want to be different, I want to be changed Till all of me is gone and all that remains is a fire so bright The whole world can see that there's something different So come and be different in me And I don't want to spend my life stuck in a pattern And I don't want to gain this world but lose what matters So I'm giving up Everything Because I want to be different 
listening to Keep the Faith. Hey, I'm Keith Stevens. When you're able to move from knowing your purpose to experiencing your purpose, everything changes. Caroline Barnett and her husband, Matthew, lead the Dream Center in the heart of Los Angeles, which has served around a half a million meals during the pandemic. It's amazing. Caroline talks about the day that her passions and the needs of the world around her all came together. Well, I believe every Christian has a passion in life. A trigger is what I like to call it. And I had my first trigger pulled when I was 18 years old. I was volunteering here at the Dream Center and I got a call from a social worker who said there was a family in need of food not too far away. Now at the time we had a food bank on campus, but you had to come to us in order to receive. Well, I loaded up my car that day and drove over to this dilapidated apartment building. And what I saw that day changed my life. It was a mom who was 25 with eight kids. And when we walked in, there was no furniture in the apartment other than some couch cushions on the floor that they use as beds. And the kids were mostly just in their diapers or underwear. And as soon as we walked in, the kids jumped in our arms and started eating raw zucchini. I thought, how hungry are these kids that they'd be willing to um, eat raw zucchini? And it wasn't until I was face to face with a hungry child that I realized how passionate I was about feeding the hungry. And now I'd grown up watching the heartbreaking commercials of kids starving around the world and they brought my eyes to tears, but not to action. It wasn't until I was in the home of a hungry child that I knew how passionate I was. And I think that's what it takes for most of us. Of course, every injustice can bring a child of God to tears, right? Because we have the love of Christ in us. So what doesn't break our heart? But I believe God is asking all of us on an individual basis to be his ambassador in some way, in some area. And it's passion. So it's work that doesn't feel like work. It's the kind of work that pushes you beyond your limits, beyond your insecurities, beyond your fears, beyond your inconveniences. But God has called all of us to be his hands and feet in some way, on some level. Sitting at the stoplight, you can't be bothered by the heart cry written on the cardboard in her hands. Oh, but when she looks him in the eye, His heart is broken open wide And he feels the hand of God reach out through him As heaven touches her Carry you alive and us your life. 
when an airplane takes off, they know it will be off course 98% of the time. The goal for the airplane is not perfection along that path. It's to navigate the winds. It's to move with them. It's to, to handle those things that come at it and then reach its destination. You and I are at our best when we're seeing our purpose through the lens of a story that is much bigger than our own. Your life has purpose. I'm not just someone dream so that you don't see and you don't know. Yeah, I want to believe. Jesus, help me believe. is Keep the Faith. Next on Keep the Faith, our friend Andy Andrews has encouragement to help you get more out of life. Do not allow life to happen to you. Put things in your mind and your heart that you know are important. I'm captivated, I say it, I'm on a whole new intrigue. My space invaded, upgraded, I hear you talking to me. It's in the boom of the thunder, it's in the cool of the rain And I'll say, I don't ever want to get away Tonight is beautiful, it's got my mind on you And everywhere I turn is a reminder to discover more about your purpose, there are tools to help at keepthefaith.com. Look down from a broken sky, traced out by the city lights. My world from a mile high, best seat in the house tonight. Touch down in the cold black top, hold on for the sudden stop. Breathing the familiar shock of confusion and chaos. 
those people going somewhere? Why have I never cared? Give me your eyes for just one second Give me your eyes so I can see Everything that I keep missing Give me your love for humanity Give me your arms for the broken hearted The ones that are far beyond my reach Give me your heart for the ones forgotten Give me your eyes so I can see Yeah 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 Step out on a busy street See a girl in our eyes meet Does her best to smile at me To hide what's underneath There's a man just to a right Black suit and a bright red tie Too ashamed to tell his wife He's out of work, he's buying time All those people going somewhere Why have I never Give me your eyes for just one second Give me your eyes so I can see Everything that I keep missing Give me your love for humanity Give me your arms for the broken hearted The ones that are far beyond my reach Give me your heart for the ones forgotten Give me your eyes so I can see Yeah 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 Give me your eyes so I can see Everything that I keep missing Give me your love for humanity Give me your arms for the broken hearted The ones that are far beyond my reach Give me your heart for the ones forgotten Give me your eyes so I can see Give me your eyes for just one second Lord, give me your eyes so I can see For everything that I keep missing Give me your love for humanity Listening to Keep the Faith. I'm Donna Cruz. A job has hours, but true purpose? Well, you never really clock out of that. Andy Andrews is passionate about helping people discover their why. He's the New York Times bestselling author and has a brand new book coming out called Just Jones. If you want to get the most out of your life, Andy has a nugget of wisdom to share. I would tell you to live purposefully necessarily think that we can be purposeful in the doors that open, but we can be purposeful in being the kind of people that doors are opened for. Now see, this involves your relationship with the Lord, this involves relationship with your family, this involves seeking wisdom, this involves action, I would say to live purposefully. Do not allow life to happen to you. Do not allow the Brady Bunch themes and the Gilligan's Island themes to stack up in your head where you could do that all afternoon things in your mind and your heart that you know are important. Live purposefully as a good parent. Live purposefully as a good husband. Live purposefully as a member of your church, as a member of your community. Pay attention to what you are learning and what you're saying and what you're doing. If I sing but don't have love, I waste my breath with every song I bring. An empty voice, a hollow noise. If I speak with a silver tongue, convince a crowd, but don't have love, I leave a bitter taste with every word I say. So let my life be the proof, the proof of your love. Let my love look like you and what you make.
When God answers our prayers and He gives us what we want, it's not so that we could be perfect, polished, and pretty, so we could, you know, sit on our gifts like a little Miss Muffet on her tuffet, but our gifts are to benefit everyone. So He took the girl from the hood, the obese, overlooked, marginalized girl who couldn't read and allowed her to be a voice for those that could not be heard in this season of their life. This is Keep the Faith. Hi, I'm Lynn Hauser here on Keep the Faith with some contagious encouragement. Skip Heitzig said, there are two great days in your life, the day you were born and the day you discover why.
listening to Keep the Faith. It's time for us to more than just Hi, I'm Trish Blackwell, Keep the Face Confidence Coach. When you discover your purpose, it's like life really begins. Maybe you know the feeling. Your story could be the nudge that helps someone else discover their purpose. So would you call? 800-726-4150. That's 800-726-4150. I was 19 when I gave birth to my daughter and I wasn't married. I ended up getting married after she turned a month old. That ended in divorce. I, from there, lost my job, my house. I was fighting for custody of my daughter. And then right after that, I got into a really bad car accident and lost everything again. And I ended up questioning God and asking God, why? Why am I having to suffer? And I realized that He wasn't making me suffer. He was guiding me where I needed to, and it was everything that was happening. He was trying to catch my attention. And now I'm about to be a cop, and I'm getting ready to head to the police academy and do something bigger than myself. Through all of my failures and all of my fears, it finally made me realize that God's always been there. His no wasn't a no. It was a yes later in the time but it wasn't what I needed right then and there. And he's always been there and he's always guided me. I don't know where I would be today if it wasn't for God having his hand on me. Wow, that is so encouraging. You know, one thing that can keep you from really discovering and living out your purpose is fear. So I'd love to give you a taste of my College of Confidence and help you overcome that by giving you my Fear Detox Masterclass for free. You'll find it at keepthefaith.com. Have you been praying And you still have no answers Have you been pouring out your heart for so many years Have you been hoping That things would have changed by now Have you cried all the faith you have through so many tears When we 